Hi, I'm Dr. Lakshmi Kandamneni. I'm the consultant, plastic and cosmetic surgeon at Pace Hospitals, Hitech City, Hyderabad. Today, I would like to discuss a topic called breast augmentation. It is a surgical procedure to enhance the size, shape and symmetry of the breast. It is also called boob job or augmentation mammoplasty. There are mainly two types of breast augmentation surgeries based on the implant which is silicone or saline implant. Most commonly silicone implant is used for breast augmentation. The other process is by fat grafting. This procedure is done under general anesthesia. Patient will be completely sedated and uh, either the inframammary or the under the breast crease incision is given or the areolar incision is given at the border of areola or the armpit incision is given. Usually the incision is given under the breast crease. Then the pocket is created under the breast gland either above the muzzle or below the muzzle or in a dual plane and the implant can be either round or anatomical shape and the texture of the implant also varies either it can be smooth or nano texture implant. The incision which has been placed will be closed and that incision will be hidden in the breast crease and after the procedure the patient will be given a surgical bra to prevent the edema and hematoma. Your surgeon might recommend few blood tests before the procedure and will advise you to stop any blood thinners or any other medication which might hamper the wound healing or you might need to stop smoking and alcohol intake at least 6 weeks prior to the surgery and few months after the surgery. And you are also advised to stop taking any recreational drugs. And pre-anesthetic clearance will be taken just to know that you are fit for the surgery. For a smaller breast, which are usually hypoplastic, for increase in the size, you can get it done. For improving the symmetry of the breast, in some cases, one breast is usually small. To improve the symmetry, one can get breast augmentation with different sized implants. After any correction procedures on the breast, if there is any size disparity, we can get it done. And to improve the self-esteem or self-confidence, one can get it done in a smaller size breast. And in cases of uh, pregnancy or post weight loss, there will be a significant loss of breast volume also. In such cases also, one can get breast augmentation done. One should not get breast augmentation if they are having any infection or any malignancy or cancer of the breast or any bleeding disorders or wound healing disorders in cases of autoimmune diseases and uh, delayed wound healing states. And also in patients who have psychiatric illnesses who are not stable to take a decision like in case of depression or mood disorders and this person can get it done once they are stable and after getting a psychiatric clearance. So these are the contraindications for breast augmentation surgery. Usually the results are long lasting. And this will improve the self-esteem and also the confidence, improve in the size of the breast, shape of the breast and symmetry of the breast. And in turn, uh, increases the self-esteem. There are also more wardrobe options after you get an augmentation done and better cleavage after the procedure. 
as with any other surgical procedure the bleeding or swelling or bruising are also seen but lesser chances because there will be no dead space after placing the implant and along with this there can be scar contracture around the implant which is also called capsule contracture and seroma formation or implant extrusion in case of trauma post procedure that is also due to extensive injury or direct hitting of the implant in the trauma one can expect the fullness and projection of the breast one can expect the symmetry of the breast and also improved self esteem and self confidence in case of implants usually 10 to 20 years will be the lifetime of a implant and this can increase further like greater than 20 years in some cases but in case of fat grafting the result will be lifelong and these results vary when one can have the significant change in weight and uh, the fat grafted area might be a risk after weight loss so one is advised to get these procedures done after a stable weight of course it is a safe procedure but it should be done in an accredited facility with icu support and ventilator support it is possible after breast augmentation surgery because the implant is placed behind the breast tissue over the muscle or under the muscle so the breast gland and ducts are not at all disturbed during the implant placement and even with the fat grafting the ducts and the breast tissue won't be disturbed in the fat grafting procedure so breast feeding is absolutely possible after breast augmentation surgery will breast implant affect mammograms with the advances in the imaging techniques the breast implant does not affect mammographic study and an experienced radiologist can always diagnose any breast pathology with the implant in situ any patient who undergoes breast augmentation surgery they can return back to their daily activities the next day after surgery and after 2 to 3 weeks they can start cardio exercises and after 4 to 6 weeks they can even start strength training or strenuous exercises one should follow the prescribed medication treatment and avoid indulging in smoking and alcohol healthy lifestyle and healthy eating habits proper follow ups post surgery these are the do's and don'ts and avoid strenuous exercises avoid sunbathing or exposure to sun to prevent hyperpigmentation in that areas and avoid indulging in any heavier activities or strenuous exercise a board certified plastic surgeon with expertise in cosmetic surgery or aesthetic surgery and who has a track record of a successful breast augmentation surgeries previously is the one you should look for or consult for to get your breast augmentation procedure done